Hi Aries, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your weekly uh, reading. Please know that the dates can be flexible, so uh, don't get too hung up on the dates. Uh, details uh, in the description box regarding how to win a free personal reading with me. Right now I have personal readings um, on hold because I am booked out about a week and a half. And so I will announce again next week once I open them up again. So with that, Aries, let's pull the energies. We'll pull the energies here for Aries. Please show Aries what they need to know. Now I will use these main energies for both money, career, and love. We will start with money and career. And then I will spend more time on the love portion. Okay, so we got here on uh, number six. Okay, not for you. We have number 14, which is five, truth be told. Now, any of these numbers may be important to you, or you may see synchronicities of these numbers for this week. And we have here number one, the yang energy. Okay, this is masculine energy. Just remember we all, um, we all have uh, yin and yang energy, divine masculine and feminine energy okay and then bottom of the deck here we have number 34 which is seven a leg up okay i always see this as like getting back up on that horse okay getting back up on that polar bear there all right so it's clear here we see um you have not for you so it feels like there's some sort of decision, okay? And this could also be about you planning your next move, okay? So there could be something around money and career that you're just not feeling, you know, it may be feeling it's stagnant. You may be feeling like something needs to change. So I feel like this could be about you, Aries, planning your next move. You have truth be told. Truth be told. This is about being honest and true to yourself. Okay, taking it head on, and that's what I'm feeling here. I feel like there's something here you're about to take head on. Okay, it's something too that's close to your heart. You can see all the hearts here, right? And then you also have the yang energy. This is really about you taking action, okay, not waiting for it. Okay, so that's what I feel like the energy here is you're getting ready to take some sort of action. This could be something too that you're very passionate about, maybe something new that you want to do. We're going to we're going to clarify. And then as I said here, you have a leg up. Okay. I feel like too there's there's something here you're feeling challenged about. And um, I feel like this is about you getting ready to take some sort of action about it. So let's see. Uh, tell me more about the not for you energy. Tell me more about the not for you energy. We want one card here. Okay, we got a cosmic cycle. It says the wheels are turning. It says take risks. This could be good luck, another phase, and looking up. Okay, and this also talks about cash flow. So some of you may be making a decision here to, I'm feeling like to increase your, your cash flow. I feel like also too, this can talk, this may be you, you know, getting ready to take some sort of action. You may feel like there is a risk, but if you're in a stagnant energy, it may be, right? You, or you're in a place where you're just not feeling like this is right. I mean, maybe it's the job you have or, you know, maybe you're just not seeing the money come in, whatever the case may be. It's telling you it's time for a new cycle. So there's some sort um, of decision I feel like you are going to be planning here and it feels like another phase here is about to happen for you. So let's talk about, uh, let's see why the truth be told here. Tell me more about the truth be told. Okay, you've got the unicorn. We also have your unique perspective. So interesting. So this is about you being true and honest with yourself. Now there could be something that you learned, some sort of truth, or you came to some sort of new clarity about a situation. But this talks about a miracle worker. This talks about money magic, a dream come true. Uh, this can also talk about taking on like a side job too. So I feel like there could be, I almost feel like too, there's something here that you're very clear about, something that, you know, 
you may have had that epiphany type of energy or you're going to have that epiphany energy and seeing things in a new perspective that is helping you make some sort of change. Let's see why the yang energy is here. Tell me more about the yang energy. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. This is the golden opportunity. This is open window. So I feel like there is something here. It's also about clarity. We were just talking about clarity. This is also you gaining spiritual guidance. Um, you're going to see synchronicities this week. That's what it's telling you too, especially if you're seeing ones. This is going to be a big sign to you, okay? 11, 11, 1, 1, 1. Uh, some of you, this could be something that you are feeling called to do your calling as well, okay? So I feel like there's some sort of new start. It's a breakthrough here, but it's through your own clarity and you taking action. So the opportunity is going to happen here. And bottom of the deck here, you have direction. This is finding your way. So some of you, it could be about finding a new uh, job, a career search, you know, this could also be, um, some of you may become a mentor. I feel like that as well. Or you may be, um, you know, you may meet someone who is a mentor to you. Uh, this can talk about also, you know, some of you could be even thinking about going back to school, pursuing higher education, um, or taking a different path, maybe a different path than where you are now, okay? So I feel like there's something really exciting, some sort of opportunity that is coming in for you, Aries. So let's uh, get to your love situation. Now, as it pertains to love, right? Again, not for you. You may be making a decision here in your love life, okay? Being true and honest to yourself. Does feel like with this Yang energy, it could be around a divine uh, masculine energy, or this could be indicate some sort of opportunity. Okay. So let's, uh, definitely feel that you may be feeling some sort of challenge in your love life. So let's see what the energy is here for Aries in love. Please show Aries what they need to know in love. Okay. We've got the seven of wands. What am I doing here? I'm going to pull your cards first and then we're going to see what the energy shows. Interesting. Okay. So we have the magician. Okay, this is manifesting rewards here. This is about being very intentional. I've been talking about this a lot in the readings. This is about you, Aries, manifesting and being very intentional what you want in your love life here. And if you've been doing that, right, I feel like, you know, this is this is what's manifesting. But for others, this could be talk about you just being very specific what you want in your life. And I tell people, don't be specific about the person be more specific about the qualities of what you're wanting in your love life, okay? So let's see uh, what we got here. So we have the seven of wands and we also have the high priestess, okay? I feel like Aries, when it comes to love and the direction that you're going in love, this is you and I was just talking about being very intentional. There, there's some sort of decision I feel that you're trying to make. So this is really about listening to your intuition. You may find where you are in your love life, the phase you are in your love life is not maybe in the direction that you want it at the moment, okay? I'm going to clarify the seven of wands. You may be feeling there is a block. Some of you, the block could be you're not being intentional, right, with what you're wanting to manifest, but there could be some other block here, okay? Um, it could be you not listening to your intuition as well. So we'll go back to that. We'll see what that's about. Now, we have uh, the two of wands and we have uh, the five of coin. So I feel like Aries in love, you've been through some sort of hardship and this is really about you making a decision to move forward. There's there's more than one door here. So you may be at a crossroads in your life right now when it comes to love. And so I feel like there's, there's a decision here. And again, going back to being, um, I think what I'm going to do since we're on love, I'm going to put these on top so I can easily see them. I feel like this is about you... Um, 
being very clear about what you want, true to yourself. What is it that you desire? What are you trying to manifest here? Because there's some sort of challenge here, okay, that's blocking things from moving forward. You have the King of Swords and you have uh, the Page of Swords. So this really uh, talks about you being strategic, you really detaching emotionally from a situation. So you may be doing a lot of thinking here and trying to find clarity around a love situation. Now, this could be also someone that you're dealing with um, I'm going to say here, we got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. And then we also have, we're going to clarify, but we have the Seven of Coin and we have the King of Cups. So it does feel like there is somebody that you have invested with emotionally. Okay, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. So I feel like there's some sort of investment, right? Time, love, emotion. And uh, this is this may be a very difficult situation, okay, f for you, okay, to make a decision here. Feels like a decision to move forward. Now I have to say, this also can be a new love here, someone coming in. Uh, so we're going to see, we're going to see um, as we clarify. I'm going to clarify the Seven of Wands first. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. I also feel like, too, this is about you listening to your intuition and also moving forward. Nothing's going to stop you. Once you make the decision is what I get here is nothing's going to stop you. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Now, this could be communication. Uh, well, no, not communication. This could be somebody else, an Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius. Tell me more about the Seven. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm just going to take the two cards that flipped over. All right. We got the um, Star card on the bottom of the deck. We have Aquarius energy. And we also have Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So, again, the Page of Swords here, this is about you kind of investigating, okay, you know, through your intuition, strategically thinking, Ace of Wands here, right? What's the possibility here? What's the potential of growth? And I feel like there's a decision here around someone. And I also see the Page of Swords as someone who could be a bit distant. So there may be somebody who is being a bit distant with you. Now, this could be someone that, right, you had the hope, you have the wish here, okay, for a future relationship with the Ten of Pentacles. And you also have here the Two of Cups. Now, for others, I'm going to ta tell you here, this could be about you making a decision to go online and start dating. If, you know, it doesn't resonate with you, you know, about a specific person. Some of you, this is about you being all in and deciding to go online and, um, you know, possibly date people here. Okay, we've got the Ace of Wands here. This is a desire, too, and the potential for growth. Now, let's clarify this Five of Coin. Tell me more about the Five of Coin. Okay, we got the Nine of Cups. Oh, there you are. And the Emperor. Okay, so I feel like, again, it's showing me you're not feeling content in a situation. It does feel like it has to do with something from the past. Now, whether you've just been through difficult relationships in the past, and now it's about what makes you happy, right? Moving forward, two doors ahead. Some of you may, you know, you possibly maybe you're seeing someone or you're in a relationship. And you're not feeling supported in this relationship here with the five of coin. So I feel like you're trying to make some sort of decision here around your love life is what I'm seeing. Tell me more about this page of swords. Tell me more about this page of swords. What's interesting, you have two kings here. Could represent two people in your life, and it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. Tell me more about this page of swords. Okay, we have the tower. 
and the seven of pentacles okay so something happened i feel aries in the past that really has you thinking it really has you taking stock of what has happened um you know you do have the strength heart here you have leo energy so i feel like too this is an energy where you're realizing that something isn't working or didn't work in the past and now it feels like you're kind of holding back you're kind of holding back from this i talked about detaching emotionally too this can talk about taming the inner beast here tell me more about this king of swords tell me more about this king of swords and this could be this person tell me more about this king of swords okay yeah it is this person because we have the five of pentacles and we have the three of cups this feels like someone who didn't support you in some sort of way or there was um, possibly here this could be someone who ghosted you this could be someone who um, a third party situation was involved here and as I talked about, some of you, this is just you deciding here, okay, maybe you've been alone. Maybe you've been alone for a while. Now you're deciding to get out there and date. So let's talk about this King of Cups. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Okay, yeah, look at that. Ace of Cups. I feel like this is a new person here coming into your life here. Look at King of Wands as well. Could be a water sign or a fire sign. There's a new uh, romantic opportunity here. Let's let's see why the seven of coin is here. Tell me more. I almost feel like spirit is saying like uh, you can see this egg here. Okay, in a nest. Okay. I heard like um, it's being served on a platter for you, Aries. <laughs> why is the seven of coin here, please? Why is the seven of coin here, please? Look at that, the king of coin. This is someone, I feel like this is someone coming in quite quickly here, uh, Aries. Someone I feel who's dependable, who's reliable. Somebody I feel who is looking to invest in a relationship here. I feel like there, there could be somebody new here coming into your life and that could be the decision here about moving forward. But it may be some of you need to put yourself out there if you're not doing that is what it is showing me here and it's showing me a new love possibility. Feels like there was another situation that didn't work out and, and or there was something that happened pretty significant where you're not feeling things are stable. You're not exactly happy where it's at. And that's the big decision I sense here in love. So I'm going to pull one love oracle and then we'll get some other oracles to close out the reading. What else can you share with Aries? Yeah, there it is. Between the lines, you're trying to find answers. I see you searching for answers here. And it could be if you're dealing with another person, maybe you just feel like you just don't get a whole lot of information you don't get a whole lot of clarity from this person but i feel like this is kind of you making a decision about moving forward um, with something here in your love life and you're trying to find the answers using your intuition okay decisive intuition there okay yeah romantic feelings falling in love this is about you you want to fall in love this can talk about someone too that you care about and you may not be seen right between the lines here you may not be seen right the love the affection maybe this is someone who's not really expressing to you how they feel okay and it's making you question things but others this is about falling in love and meeting the one is what i'm sensing too so let's see let's pull um, some final messages here for your aries what else does aries need to know please show aries what they need to know look at that marriage you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love there is someone oops dropped a card there Aries. there's someone i feel coming in yep look at that lovers this is saying here there are two paths ahead and this is about being true to yourself the same energy here okay this is about being true to yourself there's a decision in love and there's going to be two paths 
okay it keeps showing up here in your reading so aries uh i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love